Sorry, um, I'm off, babe. I'll see you at the girls later. I walked my fingers tired in order to get your breakfast ready, Shola. Hurts. You're still awake. Can't sleep. Oh. And your sister? Sleep. Okay. Dad isn't back. Not yet, my dear. He's been coming back very late these days. Daddy's new position keeps him a lot longer at the office. Don't worry, he will soon be back. Okay. Um, let me sing you to sleep. How about that? Mom, I'm not a baby. Who says only babies need being sung to sleep? Okay, I'll tell you a little secret. Daddy also sings me to sleep sometimes. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Granddad are so in love. <sighs> oh. Oh, when I get married, I want my husband to be in love with me like you and dad. <sighs> Come now, you need to sleep already.
<laughs> hey, hey darling. Don't touch me. You were with another of your horse again, weren't you? Come on, Ariel. Not this again. You insult me when you make such unfounded accusations. Liar. You... This time around, the evidence is all over you, reeking of her cheap perfume. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay, baby. I got you this. I just decided to try it on myself first, okay? Just to be sure that the fragrance will last. Hmm? And that's what you're smelling on me. Okay, and the fact that you can smell it now, even though I put it on since afternoon, at least means it's a good perfume. I know how particular you are. So you think you can fool me with the perfume to cover up your tracks? Really? Chola, you are shameless. Shameless! <laughs> well, how do you handle this? What can a man do? After a long, hard day at work, you come back home, you even bother to buy her a gift. All for nothing.
what? Trying to impress me by staying back from work? Look, baby, I, I apologize. I apologize for letting work steal me away from you and the girls. And I've decided to stay back today so that I can spend some time with my family. Don't even try to dodge the issue, Shola. This isn't just about your late coming. It is more about your infidelity towards me. Please. Please, can, can, can you just stop this? I'm not cheating on you. You don't fool me, Shola. You don't. What is wrong with you? Why, why, why do you keep making these unfounded accusations? I don't intend to cheat on you. Then who is Maria? The young lady you were seen having dinner with two nights ago at Lancaster restaurant. Who is she? You can't fool me, Shola. And you know what? I have had it. husband is taking good care of me and the children. Ariel, listen to yourself. I know your husband doesn't want you to work because of the show. I've told you this before. You wrote them in a boarding school so that you can as well have time for yourself to explore your creative talents. Sir, you press too much. I'm still thinking about it. Then decide quick. Quick because I am tired. I am tired of waiting for the right partner to complement my own creative experience. Are you sure you don't want that drink? That definitely is a signal of someone being chased away. It's okay. Meet me at the usual spots, okay? When you're free. <laughs> um, hello, Mr. Abata. I was just about leaving. Telling you, Daniel, this is the dream of a lifetime investment of Jews. I just put in 35 million naira of my own money into this business. And I'm telling you that in a few months' time, about six months' time, I'm going to be a hundred million naira richer in profits. Hey, how are you talking? How are you talking? 
okay, here's what will happen. I'll send you, I'll send you the link and all the details, and then we can talk some more at the office tomorrow. All right, later. Thirty-five million naira. I didn't know you had that much money to plunge into a Ponzi scheme. It's not a Ponzi scheme, Ariel. Stop saying that. Ariel, I've told you this before. Maratha Investments is a genuine company, okay? They have a track record of reimbursements. They pay. Do you know how much my cousin Tony has made from, this invest from, from his investments with them already? Go, go to the village. Go to the village and see, and see the mansion that he's building there already. Twin mansions, side by side, coming up together. And you expect me to just turn, turn a blind eye to this opportunity? 35 million naira, Shola. I thought you said you would be going into real estate investments when you were able to save enough. Come on. Ariel, don't tell me that you are, you are that clueless. Are you suggesting that 35 million naira is now enough for me to start the real estate business? Seriously? What's 35 million naira supposed to do? It can't even build a, a, a single unit. So with this kind of investment, I'm expecting 100 million naira in profits in, in about six months' time. Then I can afford to start the real estate business at the level that I dream. I want to start working again. What for? Tired of this full-time housewife life. The girls are no longer kids. Babe, I make enough money to provide for this family. We don't need an extra income. Shola. No. Sh Shola. I said no. We already talked about this before. No. And please don't bring it up again. Trust and trust is a must for a relationship to work. It would have been better if you went to work today. Hmm? What was the point of staying home when all you have done is either be on the phone or, or search through those papers? You haven't even noticed my presence. I'm I'm so sorry, baby. I'm just just trying to catch up on work. The workload at the office has more than doubled recently and I have a serious backlog. You are not the only copywriter in the world, Shola. Don't even think you're the best. Ah, oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Okay, you have my undivided attention now. Hmm? Cutie pie. Hmm? This is what you want, right? Is that all? Oh. I'm so sorry, baby. I know... I know it hasn't been as good as it used to be. But... I'm just really stressed out from all the pressure at work. Hmm? Oh, please. Don't blame it on work. Why wouldn't you be drained when you go about sharing your strengths with other women? Please don't get us started on that. We already started. What more nonsense do you plan on telling me? 
you know what? I've just realized that the whole reason why you have always been on the offensive is just because it's a form of defense. Yes. Haven't you been the one cheating on me? You even had the guts to bring your boyfriend into your matrimonial home. Isn't that shameless? What rubbish. I told you Efosa is just a friend. He just came back from the US and is looking on partnering with me on an event planning outfit. That's it. Oh, oh, I knew it. Oh, now it all makes sense. Why, all of a sudden, out of the blues, you started clamoring again that you wanted to start working. Okay, you're trying to create enough freedom for yourself so you can spend enough time with Efosa in all your illicit and immoral affairs, right? Shola, if you think you can turn this word at me on this, you lie big time. This is not me trying to turn the sword. I'm just telling you what it is. It is not, I... Mom, Dad, are you too quarreling? No, no. Girls, of, of course not. Uh, Mom is just uh, helping me work on the new manuscripts on an ad I'm working on. Oh, really? Okay. Let us see. Yeah. Um, um, girls, you see, this particular ad is for adults. It's not for kids. Adults. Mm -hmm. as, as you can see. Um, I didn't know there were adult ads. Well, there is. There is. Young girl, there are a lot of things that you don't know yet. Yes. A lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, just... Go back to your rooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not daybreak yet. I, I don't know. Just go back to bed. Good luck on your script. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice. <Good night. laughs> um. How long do you plan to sustain the lies? Very soon, they will realize how shameless and useless of a father you are. Excuse me? What did you just say? I said what I said. How dare you? How dare me what? Why are you doing this? What, what, what are you doing? So just because I lost my job, you're going to drink yourself to a stupor. Why? Come on, this is not necessary. So I lost my job. I'm going to bounce back. I'm supposed to be the one worrying about this, not you. Why are, you, why are you making such a big deal out of the fact that I lost a job? I'm going to find another job, okay? Things will be fine. wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Have you forgotten that I, I, I have a fallback? The 35 million naira I invested in Marathas, are you forgetting that it's going to mature in a month? I don't understand all this. Acting like a wall has come to Thank <laughs> you. 
20, please, hold on. What, what are you saying? You can't, you can't be saying that. What do you mean? What do you mean they shut down? They can't, they can't suddenly just shut down. Stop telling me sorry. Stop telling me sorry. That's not what I need to hear. Tony, you, you lured me into this business. You told me they were going to pay. And now you, what? I'm just supposed to allow my 35 million naira vanish into thin air? Just, just like that? Two weeks to my claim, Tony. Two weeks. Hello? Hello, Tony? Tony?
Hey, hey, good morning. Mm. How's your night? <sighs> Could have been better. Slept very late. And that's because you came back late. And you didn't even make out time to unwind. You know that all work and no play makes you grumpy and grouchy in the morning. Blame it on traffic, honey, please. Well, I can only blame the traffic for your incessant lateness from work. But how you choose to unwind, how you choose to end your day, that's your choice. That's all up to you. Shaba, cut me some slack, please. We can't do this again. Not today. There is no fighting bone left in me this morning. Not after being in traffic for hours and waking up early to attend to clients. Come on. Okay, that's fine. No fighting, okay? No fighting. Just come and eat your breakfast. It's getting cold. No, babe. I'll pass um, some internationally recognized media productions are on our neck to plan their upcoming awards and it's a huge box with a mega, mega Christmas bonus. Don't worry, I'll eat after the meeting, okay? See you in the evening when I'm back. I'll be you. Bye. I mean, who does she think she is? I stay home to do my work and take care of this house. But what does she do? She comes back very late at night and goes straight to bed. I lovingly wake up early and toil and make her breakfast yet. She says, I'll pass. That's my reward. I'll pass. Who or what does she really take me for?
Hey, guy, what's up? Hi. The sky is intact and I couldn't be more finer. Good morning. Good morning? The, the text you sent yesterday, was it a dream or something? The text you sent about Crimson PLC. <laughs> guy, we are up for a mega block. It's just in our place to ensure it doesn't slip. No way. Even the devil and his demons can't stop us this way. I, I am very, very serious about this. Do you know what? Send me their email address at once so that I will get to work. Slow down. Slow down, man. I know the excitement is on a film level. I know, I know. <laughs> this is a big thing, man. You, this is a big thing. I'm over the moon right now. Where are you? Okay, just meet me up at um, Sparks Lounge. Right away, please. Oh, okay, okay. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there, okay? Time. Good morning, Shola. You too good by now. I'm playing it on the cheap alcohol I had last night to get some inspiration to complete the script. That's a lot of excuses coming from an intern. You know that, right? You really need to be careful. Ah. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's I'm just joking. Just come and sit down. Oh, only needed one actually. That's fine. Okay. Well, at least you got the formatting right manually. That's a good start. It was terribly stressful. When there is a software that can handle it. You know that softwares do fail, right? Besides, it's important to stay professional, even when you're trying to find um, easy ways to get the job done on a tight schedule, okay? But I promise you, you will love this script. Ha, ah, okay. Hold it, hold it, okay? Don't get over the moon with yourself. I still have to read it and decide. Okay. 
But I knew I was right in my choice of mentor. Yeah, okay. Um, let me get you something to drink and I'll come back and read this. Hello. Yeah. You asked me to come meet you here. And you took a private jet. Oh, so now I took a private jet, huh? <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So No way. You got to be kidding me. 50 million Naira project. Woo. Direct process and there's no third party. 
Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow, the fee is just so right. This won't even cost me much because the vendors are my friends and I already have some materials sorted out from old projects. So it's just to update and upgrade. Wow! You're, you're just simply amazing. I mean, this is some free fonts, you know. <laughs> I think what we need right now is to sit back, relax and design the perfect execution plan. Isn't that why I have you? <laughs> Seriously, this is one project that would definitely launch me to the limelight. Guy, this execution must be perfect. Top notch. Uh, I mean, just us. It has to be us, not just you in the limelight, you know? <laughs> Man, this calls for celebration. Waiter! Waiter! Okay. Uh, please go, go, go. Um, get, please, request for something. What do you want? Uh, for 2022, you see there's another spike again in the middle of the chart. But at the end of the chart is January 2023. And you see while there's a small rise in hospitalizations, it's nowhere near what we've seen before. And what this means for the upcoming spring, it's still unclear. But at this point in the pandemic, health officials are still worried about the emergence of new coronavirus variants. Ariel, where are you coming from at this time of the night? From work, of course. From work? Oh, okay, so you are now the only working class woman in the world. Huh? I mean, you are the first event planner in the history of event planners. Please, don't, don't even start with me right now, Shola. I am exhausted to the last letter D. Exhausted from what exactly? Exhausted from, from abandoning wifely duties all in the name of doing a job, a job that your PAs can do in a few minutes with a little direction. Huh? Is that what you're exhausted from? Or you're exhausted from forgetting the important dates in your life that you marked on a calendar that's stuck on the fridge that you stare at every single day? What has come over you, woman? Where is this whole venom coming from, Shola? Well, if I must tell you some truth, I am exhausted from working my ass out to put food on the table. I am exhausted from working my ass out just to pay the children's school fees and give them the best life. So, the children, you're providing for them, the same children that you don't call during the day to find out how they're doing. The same children whose grades you don't care to know what it is. Huh? The same daughters that you conveniently forget their birthdays. Come on, this is becoming disgusting and unacceptable. Why have you decided to sacrifice your children's care and attention on the altar of selfish ambitions? Ariel, you're rarely available these days. This is supposed to be a beautiful journey. You have no right to say that to me, Shola. Oh, I do have every right and you know it. No, sir, you do not. I carried them in my womb for nine months and I birthed them. <laughs> you wish. You seem to forget that it took a lot of work to put them there in the first place. You know, I used to think that marriage transforms a woman from a pampered, carefree girl into a responsible wife that's ready to take on her wifely duties. No, dude. Don't do this. It's a jerk move. It's brutal honesty. Brutal honesty. Seriously? Chola, brutal honesty! I deserve some appreciation in this house, Chola! You do not have it! I do it! You can't take work as an excuse to abandon this family! I am doing it! I am telling you! Everybody said, Chola! Appreciate me! Very, very honest! 
necessary. Seriously, why are you bent on making a mountain out of a molehill? What is it? What are you trying to make this whole thing look like? Are you sure you are not tired of this marriage? You know what? I very well might be. Yes. But guess what? I'm also not eager to make Nora and Sharon victims of whatever time bomb is ticking. You might be. Why are you not going for the dissolution of this marriage then? A divorce court is not far from us, Shola. Why? Let us sign the divorce papers already. Do you think I'm happy in this marriage that I have to constantly work my ass out? A woman is a helper, not a burden bearer. Even in the wake of this, this storm lies a generation of men who don't know how to be men. Men who suffer from courage deficit. Oh, men who, who can't channel their masculinity properly. What a sad shame. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. Ariel, you have suddenly become so philosophical. Well, just because you're spending money and taking care of the family now, you've suddenly become uh, an authority on all that is wrong with society and men. What about you? Have you bothered to look in the mirror? What kind of a woman have you turned into? Huh? A woman who doesn't even understand what it means to be a woman. A mother who doesn't understand the joys of motherhood. A woman who cannot keep a home. As a matter of fact, a woman whose house is not even a home. How dare you, Shola? How dare you? Whoever told you... Must be a fool to lay your hands on you.
know I went overboard. But I'm a woman. A woman shouldn't be apologizing to a man who hurled a foul epitaph on me and even returned a slap. You should apologize first. If he can't, then let's stay like this. Whatever rocks the boat. Should I break the silence and apologize for the hot slap? Nah, nah, can't do that. I may appear too weak to her, and then she still keeps riding on me. No, I won't try that. She deserves what she got. After all, she slapped me first. So of all the towels in this house, she decided to use my favorite one. This lady is really pushing me. What are you talking can never make a right when we are on the show apologize. We must let go of ego and pride and put our differences. Yeah, well the league is just starting. What are you saying? Let love take <laughs> over. Take over. Yes, straight away. Why not? Perfect. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, just um, draft it as soon as you can and send it to my mail. You know we can't afford to miss that. <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's a huge one, my baby girl. I'm guessing at this point now, David, you, you've got a sense that you've got a chance to do something. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, please. I'm I'm so interested. Definitely. Mm. Okay, okay, sure. I'll be waiting. Mm. We would like to meet up. Thank you. Yeah, mm. well, we there. And I think I'll do second half, second half is when... Mm. Okay, I'm waiting, please. Let's, let's be fast about it. You know, we can't afford to miss them.
I'm fine. Everyone is fine. Yeah. My marriage. Hmm. It's another kettle of fish, mom. Well, my marriage is just there. But it's one hell of a roller coaster ride, and I am not enjoying every bit of it. Well, I don't care. The downsides and the negative patterns. Okay. Regards to dad. Bye. guide which I read yesterday I just realized that for the blocking you need to begin with the big proportional relationships like height to width establish the contour of the head and the face and look for the negative space shapes hmm? are you okay you aren't listening to me Ah, uh, oh. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, just my mind. Wanna talk about it? No, no, no. It's, it's fine. It's nothing. Just... Family issues. Emotional baggage. Uh, come on. Bianca, drop it already, okay? Let's just continue. No, I won't. Let's face it head on. Fine, okay, you win. Yes. Family issues. From your wife's angle, I presume. <sighs> My wife is a handful. Come on, you should know that modern marriages are not what it used to be. It's all about time and patience. Communication is key. So, what was all that about? What was what about? The silent treatment between you and your husband, Shola. That's not fair. And come to think of it, this is not even a young marriage. Please, just, just be careful. Don't be the cause of a divorce in a marriage that has long lost its thrills. Isn't that a subtle sign that it's about to hit the rock? Never. Why do you like being so negative? Listen, you don't have to use words careless as that. Never say never. Hi, Nora darling, my baby girl. How are you? And your sister Sharon? Oh, for the midterm break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I would call your school when I get to the office so I can talk to your principal, okay? Mommy loves you. Bye, darling. Oh, my babies. Oh, I have missed them. Okay, just a quick question. Do you love your children? Of course. To the moon and back. A million zillion times over. Then that should be the reason why this marriage would work. With their young and fragile hearts, don't you think they would want peace and togetherness? <sighs> I 
We will talk about this later in the office. First of all, let's go grab that mouth-watering contract. Well, let's go. If you say so, mm -hmm. I just want you to be careful. You girls know daddy can't wait to see you, right? Of course. I've missed you both so much. You know daddy loves you. Okay, I'm glad you do. Okay. I'm going to make sure I prepare your room. Okay? Make it very nice and colorful. And also, there'll be ice cream and lots of chocolates waiting for you girls in the freezer. I knew you were going to be excited about that. <laughs> you love chocolates. Okay, I'll see you girls soon, okay? I've made all the arrangements. They'll come get you. Okay, bye. Because two wrongs can never make a right When we are wrong we should apologize we No, I really miss home Me too <laughs> Especially mom and dad's cooking Like food Don't you too <laughs> Who doesn't? Mom and dad's food is always the worst You can say that again Sure I saw you consoling Emilia this morning at the school factory when she was crying. Poor oh girl. Her auntie brought the news at the school bus that her parents are parting ways and her other brother, Kola Day, committed suicide when he heard it. Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. She cried bitterly that I almost cried with her. No children should experience a broken hand because of a friend to go to. Exactly what they taught us last week in social studies. The voice and book. That's bad. My heart reaches out to her. Thank God for that and mom. Your son is so proud of you. Most of all, they are love. <laughs> Sharon, sure, aren't we lucky? Yeah, we are lucky. <laughs>
Hold tight, so. Hold tight. Oh my. She's really nice and she knows that. She doesn't get along with you. That's good. I like that. So, talking about getting along with your subjects, girls, please tell me you did well in your last exams. Yes. I know about her one. <laughs> yes. Did you? I hope you remembered the advice I gave you on your first day in school. Am I the only person with some funny feelings around here? Oh. I've noticed it too. There's obviously something wrong with mom and dad, and they're trying really hard to disguise it. I thought that phase was over two years back. And to make matters worse, they even forgot their own anniversary. <sighs> I'm scared. I hope our imagination is no worse playing tricks on us. It can be. Better. Better not be. What is this man's game plan? To turn my children against me? Never. The kids aren't stupid. I bet they already sense something. If not for this woman's irrational behavior, we would all still be in peace. So stupid.
forget. Mom, Dad, is there anything you guys don't want to tell me? Also forget, right? <laughs> I just hope Sharon and I don't suffer the same fate like Maria did. It's cool. Happy anniversary. Sharon, let's go to bed. Nora, I'm scared. Look at me thinking that our parents' marriage is made in heaven. What if they decide to break up? I'm scared too. It's funny how one minute you're living the dream life. And then the next minute, everything vanishes into thin air like a mirage. Sharon, we need our mom and dad together. Marriage I was told is for better, for worse. You and I know how a broken home almost destroyed our schoolmate, Maria. We can't let that happen to us. We need to act fast. Hi, my angels. My little angels. Come here. Here you go. Okay, <laughs> what has daddy done? Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Can I make it up to you girls? Let's go out for a treat of ice cream. We are not interested. Or Sharon, are you interested? Who, cool. me? No! Mm. Maybe you can just take your mind out for the treat. What is going on here, girls? <sighs> I want to take you girls to the movies. I tell you, there are lots of great movies you guys need to catch up on. Please, Mom. Sharon and I are no longer interested in movies for now. But I'm sure your husband will appreciate you taking him to see those movies, right? Right, Dad? <clears throat> Sharon. Yes? How about we go play some video games inside? Yeah, let's go. Mm. What? You see what you've cost? Oh, please, don't pass the buck. Deal with it. Deal with your irregular behavior and unclear thinking first. Perhaps you need to deal with your low sense of reasoning. Rubbish. You two rubbish. What do you mean? I don't understand what's going on. What do you think? What do you think I mean? What? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, it's 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 So this is your plan? To turn my children against me? Excuse me? How dare you? How dare you suggest such nonsense? Are we in some sort of competition or what? Nora and Sharon are my daughters, okay? You manipulator. You want to manipulate my children to see their mother as being bad while you are the saint. Your plan can never work. It will never work. Look who's ranting. Look at you ranting. You don't even know the first thing about being a mother, about raising children, and you, you call yourself a mother and a wife? Huh? Shame on you. Now you want to take them to go see a movie as if that's the important thing in their life right now. When was the last time you visited them in school? 
When was the last time you attended any of the end of the year parties? As a matter of fact, Ariel, when was the last time you even bothered to look at your children's termly results? Shame on you, Shola. Shame on you! Oh, you want to bring this to the table? You want to do this, right? Okay. When was the last time you paid their school fees? When was the last time you paid the rent of this house? When was the last time you took them shopping? Or even shop for this family with your own money? When, Shola? When? Let me tell you something, Ariel. I am a far better man than your father. Yes. If it wasn't for me who picked you out of that poverty-stricken gutter you call the home, where would you be? So now you can talk back at Shola, right? You can insult me because the table turned against me financially and now you're the one spending some change and all of a sudden you can talk back at me, right? Shola. I don't blame you one bit. to have my good night's sleep knowing that my peaceful parents have turned this house into a war zone. It's not me. It's your father. He is the architect of it all. Go talk to him. Come on, mom. You can make this happen. Okay, look. I was taught in school that women are better peacemakers and better at compromising. Mm. Come on, mom. You can make this happen. Just, you know, you and him can just compromise and... Hmm. Well, your mom here doesn't belong in that school of thoughts. So go meet your father and talk to him. Hi, Jenny. Yes, I have received the contract papers. I will sign them ASAP. I am so, so excited. Trust me, babe. This is a mega box. Ah, reform for. Hey, Jenny, I received the country papers. That's what she cares about. Contract this, contract that. 
this is not good. I guess we are doing this the hard way. The broken home is not for me or my sister. Sweethearts, how are you? How was your night? Dad, I'm fine. Dad, I want to ask you a question and I want you to be honest about it. Okay, shoot. Dad, what changed? About what? About you and mom. Did your mother send you here to ask me this? No, Dad. I'm just tired of all this rift. Um, Sharon, I think the best person to talk to about this is your mother. She's in a better position to answer your questions. Dad, are you being serious? Look, Dad, you're the man of the house. Come make things right with her. Dad, I believe the broken things can be mended. to sort your issues, we will disown you and adopt some other son name. You have five days, five days to settle your differences. If not, we'll disown you and sue you with child support. Right? Yes. Did you hear that? Can you stop breathing? Married 
has never had a happy ending. It comes with its struggles and complications. But the real question here is, is your wife worth the trouble? Because I mean, there are good people who love and adore you and would give anything just to be with you. I, I speak for myself. So that is cheating on me. This is not good. Here she comes, that is girlfriend, in her dreams. I hope so. Good morning, young ladies. I'm certain you've lost your way. What are you girls up to? It's obvious, isn't it? While I'm home, you should have just called me to prepare your food. Why is that? Mrs. Abata, do orphans have parents to call out for help? Please, Mrs. Abata, as you can see, we need some privacy. We need to concentrate on what we are cooking. Okay? Thank you. Let's go.
what? <laughs> Nora. Sharon. Please don't tell me. <gasps> What's going on? What are you girls doing? Nobody wants to talk to me. Nora? I have fallen short of my responsibilities as a mother. What example am I giving to these kids as a mother should? I really blown that up big time. God, please help me and these children. Shola, Shola, what are you doing? Just apologize to your wife and have your family back. No marriage is perfect. Ario, can you please swallow your pride and speak the word? You still love this man. I still love my kids. I don't want to lose any. Mrs. Abata, since you two have refused to see reasons to reconcile or take a step closer to settle your rift, we're leaving. We're leaving because we don't want to stay in this loveless family. We don't want to end up like Emilia's brother, Kola De, who committed suicide. I became insecure when you started making more money than, than I and I, I was insecure because I thought someday I might lose you because I have nothing to offer. I was also insecure because I wasn't domesticated enough. That you are so perfect in everything you do and that one day you might see someone who has it all. And when I saw your female protege, I confirmed my fears. So, what I lacked in being domesticated, I tried to make up for by working hard. Please, let's bury the hatchet. I want to be that woman you once fell in love with and married. And I want to be the same man who put a ring on your finger, knowing that you are worthy to be my wife. I love you, baby. I love you more. Who says taking a step closer and iron out our differences isn't a good idea? Once in a while, it's better to employ some tricks just so you can achieve your aims. Nevertheless, in love with trust. Oh, come here, girls. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. thank you for forcing us to see the truth. 